comes out, we're all gonna be fucked. PK and civilian alike. <coughs> Sometimes I wonder what we did wrong. Surely God is punishing us for something.
best over the bazaar is here. me or are you allergic to making money listen pilgrim we can make a killing you and me you just need to get me some beets radishes parsnips there he is grab him Ed he's a murderer what Julian Luke's been poisoned from the water you sold him Devin says what but I don't sell water liar Luke told me he got it from you whatever's in it has him ranting and raving now you're sure he didn't blame me after he started renting? Oh, well, wait a minute. Do you have proof? Of course. The water came in a bottle. Luke got that water in one of your bottles. When I tell Carl about this, you'll hang! Bevan, wait! I swear, I don't even sell water, damn it! If you're lying, Julian, you're fucking toast! <clears throat> Bet you wonder where all the guns went, right? Wait, so then, if you're not selling water, how'd someone get a hold of one of your bottles? Knowing that shithead Luke, he probably stole it. That would be like him. Even if he did, my water's pure as melted snowflakes. So, uh, maybe it's revenge. For what? Everyone loves me. Never had an enemy in my life. Wait a second. Wait. Shit. Except maybe... Marco. That bastard. Come to think of it, he's got an axe to grind for me. It was a long time ago. Never mind. Listen. He lives above an old shop on the west end of Villador, on Houndfield Lane. I traded him a few kilos of my finest flour for the water. Prove he poisoned it, and half my flour is yours. Can you do that for me? I guess I could check it out. And there's one more thing. I'm a little embarrassed. Hans might also have a bottle of this water. I thought you weren't selling it. I'm not, except, well, to Hans and... Can you go warn him? He's also on Hanfield, a few buildings down. Something's fishy about this, Julian. Look, you better be telling the truth, otherwise it'll be hard to help you. What's the problem? Hey, aren't you the pilgrim they wanted to hang? Man, you were in luck there. I could use some of that luck. I'm Alberto's apprentice. Not for long, probably. It's the third time I'm taking a shot at this test. If I fail again, Craftmaster Alberto's gonna kick me out. Hey, what's a Craftmaster? You're not from around here, right? Craftmasters are people who invent new technology, design innovations, all sorts of gadgets that might help in combat. Alberto's the grand master around here. Like I said, I'm his apprentice. People laugh at him, that he's slow and not very eloquent, but he's a real friggin' genius. What's this test about? I have to design something useful for the citizens. I already invented underwater reading glasses for Alberto, then a retractable dog leash, but he kept jamming. And besides, we have no dogs here. All my ideas are worthless. Now is my last chance to prove that I am not worthless. So I spent the last several weeks walking around the bazaar and thinking, thinking hard. And then I hit it. Our goats, they're kept in cages because they eat crops. But life in cages makes them sad, and they give less milk. So I came up with the idea of a fence, energized with just a tiny bit of voltage. That would keep the goats under control, but let them produce more milk. I called this invention the electric fence.
So what seems to be the problem with this invention of yours? I'm missing a few parts, and they're not that easy to get. I'm worried I won't be ready on time. Maybe you could help me. If you find them for me, I'll give you one of my super cool inventions. Nothing to do with goats, I hope. Nah, something much more interesting. You'll see. I just need some electric parts. I'll dismantle them for resistors and other useful things. As far as I know, they could be found in two places. One's an old hardware store on Fitzwilliam Place, near the water tower. Alberto says they'll be there for sure. But it's a dark place, full of turned creatures. You have to go there at night. And the other option? Whatever's left of military patrols. I know of one place south of Horseshoe, near the old electrical substation. Bandits roam in the area, so it's possible there's nothing left there. In which case you'll have to look for other patrol remains, or take a night trip to the store. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. But I, I can't promise anything. I would be very grateful. Knew this guy in Houtfield, who removed his biomarker just to see what would happen. Next night, he turned while the light was still green. Just like that. I ain't leaving the bazaar today. Five years of learning and all for... You look familiar. Yeah, I'm the guy who almost got hanged. Why worry? You're standing here, aren't you? Excuse me? Look, we had no choice. If you had turned like we thought you were gonna... It would have been a massacre. A crowd of people against one infected. Odds were in your favor. Huh. I see you already got a marker. More time you spend here, more you'll understand. Our rules are strict, but that's how we survive. Sure. Pilgrim, aren't you? That's right. Do you hang people for that, too? Uh, I just wanted to say that I was rooting for you. Uh-huh. Thanks for standing up for me. What? But I, I didn't... Ah, I get it. Sarcasm. Look, it's not that easy to go against the crowd. Sure. I know people are scared of pilgrims sometimes, but... <sighs> Shit. You survived outside the walls. <laughs> That to be some. And nobody's doing anything about it. Such a shame. Hey. Pilgrim, take my advice. <coughs> Leave the city before you get trapped here for good. Psst. You got water for sale? I'll pay half a crystal per gallon. I keep telling everyone we should be getting ready for winter.
about Barney. He doesn't like nosy people. Liable to piss him off if he finds out. Hey, you don't want that kind of trouble. Well, now I definitely want to know more. Okay. He's Sophie's younger brother. Some say he's crazy, but he's a pillar of the bazaar. The PKs are afraid of him, and they should be. Barney is no one to fuck with. I just have to get it right this time. Alberto needs to see I'm good enough. Bill, how's New Paris holding up? I have a cousin there. My grandfather used to work as a miner in the quarry south of the old town. Those tunnels Stay are teeming with there. infected now. Years of learning and all for nothing. I just Someone's had to get it right this time. The streets around the Alberto needs to see I'm good enough. from the chemicals, bro. Shit will burn you to the bone. Hey, stop staring at me. Five years of learning me, and all for nothing. I just have to get it right this time. Alberto needs to see I'm good enough. Yeah, that's about the only time I smile. Then I see them.
Find something you like in the bazaar? Looking at all the dead people? That says here they're missing. Same difference. They never find them anyway. Yeah, then why the board? It's been 15 years. Many people disappeared back then. My neighbor lost his two kids. But life goes on. Except nobody has the courage to take those photographs down. But it's hopeless. Since there are no night runners, the search always ends the same. Yeah, those night runners, tell me about them. What's there to say? Nearly all of them are dead. When they were around, they were the only ones not afraid to go out at night. They rescued those who didn't manage to get to a shelter. But of the entire group, only a few survived, including Frank, their former commander. Once upon a time, he was great. Now, he drinks himself into a stupor at his place in the central loop. Hard to say how much longer he'll be around. Where are all these kids at now? After all those years, most of them are probably dead. If someone got luckier and is still wandering around, they would probably be in the central loop. More peacekeepers there. Easier to survive. Someone must know more. Why? The past is the past, and there's no point in dredging it back up. Everyone has their own problems. Here and now, Pilgrim. Everyone fights for themselves. Likely. Why not? Anyone can piss anyone else off, you know. Nah, the peacekeepers are too disciplined for that. Did you know that this is only six years old? Oh, you clever as well. You know. stories about an incredible road guard inside one of the houses south of quarry end i hate it it's still there you have a problem prop planning loot what about that because you got a hole there's not enough mattress in your board yeah that's when you know you hit i'm fed up with farming think you'll make it to next season i'll be fine it's my wife i'm worried about at least yours is alive no i'm sorry back off kid i shouldn't have said anything seen my kids in months because of this ridiculous blockade of the center. You're new here, aren't you? You'll see. This place is full of secrets. I'll leave you down bad. Cover. I'm going to sell you, my dear girl. What you got against you, anyway? Someone here is talking about the war situation. I get more use out of you than I get from that wench. <laughs> Yeah. Not yet. 
I'm just boiled from the roof. I'm not doing that much better. Have you made up with your brother yet? He needs to apologize first. Why don't you come by with your wife tomorrow? We can share a meal. She's not feeling very social these days. Come by yourself then. I have some moves out.
Macon's been showing you around, huh? I didn't do nothing. Don't trust that stuff. I don't believe you. You never liked him. Gathered here to honor the memory of oh, one of our so own stressed out. who death has claimed. We all knew Dominica. Her old time jokes often made in song. Just because you got holes in your shoes doesn't mean you're poor. If you've got no one to lean on, it's when you know you hit rock bottom. of the awful sounds the infected outside make. Five years of learning, and all for nothing! I, keep I just have to get it right this time! Did you find the parts? No, not yet. <laughs> 